Good day! For today's topic, we will be able to tackle regarding neutralization acidometry under the topic of week 8. So for the question, a 3.500 gram sample of acetonamide, 99.4%, was assayed by Jeddal method. If an ammonia from the sample were distilled into 52 ml of 1N sulfuric acid, the question is what volume of 1.354 N sodium hydroxide would be required in the titration? Since we're going to find the volume of this question, for the formula for the volume, which is ml equals to um, x equals to bracket ml times n bracket minus the gram percent times percent, then milli equivalent times 100 over the n. So apply to the for, apply the given in the formula. So we have the given of uh, so 52, 52 times one n sulfuric acid one bracket bracket then minus the grams which is three point five hundred grams times the percent of acetonamide which is ninety nine point four percent over the mill equivalent times 100. Since the mill equivalent in the given question is not given, we're going to find out what is the mill equivalent. We're going to get the mill equivalent of acetonamide. So for the chemical formula of acetonamide, we have um, C8, C8, H9, and O, which is the oxygen. So for the, chemical, uh, for the molecular weight of carbon, we have 12 times 8, over here, times A equals to 96. Then the hydrogen, which is the 1. Molecular weight of hydrogen is 1. Then times 9 is equals to 9. Then nitrogen, the molecular weight of nitrogen is 14. Then the oxygen, which is the molecular weight of oxygen is 16. In a total is, we have total of 135. So, for the mill equivalent formula, we have mill equivalent is equal to equivalent weight divided by the valence over 1000. So, applying the formula, we have mill equivalent of acetonalide which is 135 over the valence is 1. The valence of acetonalide is 1 divided by 1000. It's equal to 0 0.135 So this is the mill equivalent of acetonamide. Then go back to the formula which is the mill equivalent is 0 0.135 35 times 100 which is constant divided by the n which is 1.354 n So first we're gonna get the answer for this one then next over here. So 52 times 1 equals 52. 52 minus 52 ml. ml minus natin sa 3 point. So 3.500 3.500 times 99.4 divided by 0 0.135 which is the mill equivalent of a certain line. 0 0.135 times 100 which is constant is equals to 25.770337037 divided by the n which is 1.354 n and so divided by so after that we're going to subtract 52 ml Minus 25.77037037 minus um, 52 is equals to 26.2296.2963 divided by 1.354n is equals to divided by, divided by 1.354 is equals to 19. Point thirty seven ML. So this is the final answer. 
So we get two decimal places since it is was the final answer. So the volume for the question above is 19.37 mm. So that could be all. Thank you.